online, face-to-face, -face, or hybrid. These are just some of the ideas, some of the options school districts across the country are considering before the schools reopen in a few weeks. Yeah, Fort Bend ISD unveiled its virtual plans last night, and there's been a mixed reaction from concerned parents. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is following this for us from Hightower High School in Missouri City. Good morning, Brittany. Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, we found out that instead of heading back to the classroom, students here at Fort Bend ISD will be logging on to virtual learning. Now, we are talking about 78,000 students that this will be affecting in this district. Now, at this point, we don't know exactly how long that online only uh, learning will be taking place. But as you mentioned, parents are certainly weighing in on this. In about a month, when students in Fort Bend ISD head back to school, it will begin entirely online. That decision coming from the Board of Trustees meeting last night. In a tweet, the district said in part that the move to distance learning will, quote, give students, parents, and staff an opportunity to adjust to online learning and safety procedures. Some parents tell us they understand the decision, but there will be some challenges of learning at home. Well, I've never had to do it before, so I'm in for a rude awakening, I think. I think it's going to be pretty complicated. Um, but I guess, I mean, if we have, if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. We'll get it figured out. My kid's going to miss all that. You know, I'm, I'm not really happy with that, but then it could be safe side to stay home. Study online would be a good idea. The district says no in-person extracurriculars will be held when students are learning entirely online, and that includes athletics and fine arts. Engagement in online learning will be required on a daily basis, and schools will phase in face-to-face -face instruction with small groups. All staff, students, and visitors will be required to wear face coverings and undergo non-contact temperature checks prior to entering district schools and facilities. Now, Spring and Humble ISD do have school board meetings scheduled for today where we could learn more about their plans. Now, as we've been reporting, this has certainly been a very big week for districts all across the area rolling out their back to school plans. Coming up at 6 30, I'll have more on the districts that we're expected to hear from tomorrow. Reporting live this morning in Missouri City, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Brittany. Uh, and not to steal your thunder, but uh, some of the districts, in fact, uh, making announcements tomorrow, HISD, Lamar, CISD, Pearland, Spring Branch. We'll get all the latest developments, and, and we'll bring them to you here on air as we learn more. And you can always check in at click2houston.com slash back to school, because some districts have already announced, and we're keeping a running uh, toll on that page for you. Yeah, absolutely.